Thank you, baby. Push mommy door up so I can do my own stuff real quick. Okay, y'all, I'm back with another reading for the lovers. Well, I mean, it has to do with love. It's not for lovers, but of course, uh, this is about a relationship. And um, I pulled four cards. And once again, just like my last reading was about um, cancer. Scorpio and Pisces. This is basically a similar card I pulled in the first in the last reading. So I pulled the chariot like I did in the last reading before this one. And this came in reverse. Then I have the um eight of cups. And then I got two of pentacles. And then I got the nine of cups. Okay, so just by looking at this, I can tell that this is a relationship and that um, someone is feeling, since it's cherries. Cherry card, this would be somebody powerful and all that good shit, but it's in reverse. So this is someone who is feeling very powerless in a relationship and someone who is possibly lacking direction. And um, I feel like you need to just take control of your own life and your destiny. Now, you possibly still moving for uh, Pisces. Scorpio and Cancer, but you must let go of things that don't no longer serve you, and that's people, places, and things. And with this um, Eight of uh, Cups, it looked like you're going to be leaving some shit behind. You're going to be leaving some shit behind onto something better moving forward you're going to be forced to move forward and it seems like somebody was forcing this relationship to work but um eventually they're going to walk away and this person has also been feeling uh unbalanced this whole relationship was not balanced they wasn't balanced none of this shit was balanced. It probably was toxic as fuck. So, that's what I'm getting. This relationship was very unbalanced. And, um, this Nine of Cups is telling me that uh, to get to this peace of mind and success and this victory, you must walk the fuck away from it so you can gain all of that. The happiness, that peace, that fulfillment, that joy, or whatever the case may be. And um, like I was saying, somebody is lacking direction. They have no... Basically, they self doubt. They have self doubt. They doubt in themselves. They have no high, high self esteem or confidence. About moving forward, but they starting to realize intuition telling them they not getting what they giving. This person is giving them twenty percent of the relationship. Why you giving your all type shit. So you most definitely need to take control of your life and your def destiny. What You feel what I'm saying? Your life path, your journey. So you can be ha uh, happy and fulfilled in this and um, move forward and fulfill yourself. With all this shit that you was giving that person, give it to yourself. All this love that you was giving them, give it to yourself. 
But you got to let go of this shit, bro. Because it's not serving you. You're not getting anything out of this relationship. So you need to have some confidence to move forward. Don't be in fear of moving forward despite all your anxieties and shit. Just let it go and let, let God, let the most high do his work. And then once you leave this shit, you will start to get gain your power back. You'll start to wake up and realize what direction you should be going in. You'll start to take control of your life and your decisions. And in order to do that, you must let this shit go, bro, so you can be successful. So you can be straight, bro. And so you can have peace, joy, happiness, wish fulfillment, stability, possibly love, new new marriage. You on you in a direction, you on your way in a direction into something that's bigger. Bigger than you can can imagine. Bigger than you can see. So you moving the fuck forward. Keep on. Don't stay stuck and stagnant for someone who doesn't put in what you're um, giving out. You might be a hard fucking worker. You can be an empath. And you just give, 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 give until a person suck you dry and you left at score one. Or alone, after they didn't used you up, gave you a wet ass, and that was pretty much it. They're not adding to the relationship. They're taking away. Ask yourself, is the person an asset or a liability? Are they coming to take, kill, steal, and destroy? Are they taking or are they giving? And if they giving, are you gaining? Are y'all advancing or are you declining in a relationship, whether that's health? stability finances whatever the case may be and it seems to me that this relationship has been stagnant it's possibly probably been over and you just sitting there big chilling it's gonna be straight bro use your intuition keep moving forward everything gonna work itself out it's already already worked out gain your confidence back bro don't doubt shit bro don't be in fear of nothing. Victory is yours. Success is yours. You're going to get everything that you deserve. Once you walk away, bro, everything going to be straight. So, y'all have a blessed day. And, um, I will possibly be back eventually with um another reading or whatever the case may be. And this is it. This is what I got for the day. And she needs to take you a picture, a screenshot, whatever it is to remind yourself. So, yep, that's what I got for today. Y'all have a blessed day, bro.